Hey guys, it's the Injury Bloke here, bringing you simple and effective solutions for your aches, pains, needles, knocks, injuries, and training. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about fighters that get tennis elbow. So uh, let's take a look. So, thinking, has the injured bloke lost his marbles? His fighter's getting tennis elbow, that makes no sense. Well, tennis elbow is just a generic name that's been named because it was synonymous with, with tennis players. But what it is really, the, the big flash name is called the lateral epicondylitis, which means we've got some pain and some inflammation and some tendon problem around the top half of the elbow. I've covered the bottom half, golfer's elbow, in an earlier video. So this is tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis in fighters. This condition is really easy to get with fighters because you're impacting, you're hitting things, we're driving things through this elbow all the time. So it's really easy to get an overuse injury, which this is, uh, in, in the forearm tendons, particularly when we're doing hook punches and hook punches to the body. So when, we, when we're in here and we're driving into the body, that impact just goes all the way through straight to that elbow. At least with straight punches, it's got more, uh, more muscles and more joints to disperse through. But with these, boom, straight, straight into the elbow. So if you want to prevent this from happening, what you want to be doing after training is popping ice on your forearms for about 10 minute spells and doing that Ideally, three times an hour, maybe for an hour uh, or two. You want to use a proper ice pack or some crushed ice in a bag. Don't use bags of peas because they only stay cold for five minutes, then they're too warm and do nothing. So proper ice packs or some crushed ice in a bag. The other thing you need to do is to stretch the forearm muscles. The muscles here go right the way down to your fingers. So if you wiggle your fingers, you'll see the muscles from the fingers come all the way up here. So when you stretch your forearms, not only do you want to be stretching from the wrist to get a stretch here, but you also want to be pulling on the fingers as well so that you're covering absolutely everything that you can. So we're stretching this way and pulling on the fingers as well. If this becomes a bit of a persistent problem, of course, seek treatment. Give me a call if you're in the West Midlands um, and uh, I'll sort it out for you or see if another uh, sports therapist and they'll sort it out for you. Uh, but uh, other, other things you can do to, to manage the problem, what I suggest you do is go to my golfer's elbow video because everything I talk about in that to help you manage, you can apply to this because it's the same problem just on the opposite side of the elbow. So uh, yeah, I'll get more views that way as well. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? So yeah, hopefully this is uh, useful, guys. If you've got requests for any videos, I say I'm, I'm on a bit of a fighter's thing at the moment. And so uh, anything that you'd like me to cover, let me know. Stick them in the comments and all being well, I'll get around to them.